Sample 3. This year there are two booths owned by Amos and Bobby with similar games to the Fish for Cash game. Amos's booth has an expected value of 0.50 with a standard deviation of 0.25. Bobby's booth has an expected value of 75, uh, 0.75 and a standard deviation of 0.32. Not counting the cost of the ticket, which I presume is a dollar, what are your total expected winnings and what is the standard deviation? So I'm going to say, what, is the, what are your total expected winnings if you play each game once? So that you have to add together those two. Let me make sure I have uh, my Excel handy for later. All right. So let's think about this first. So what we really want is we have Bobby's, uh, Amos's game and Bobby's game, and we're gonna take our winnings from both of them and add them together. So we have A plus B, right? And we wanna know what is the expected value of A plus B. So we know that mu of A plus B is equal to the mu of A plus the mu of B. Right? And we have mu of A and B, so expected value of Amos's booth is 50, 50 percent, right? And the expected value of Bobby's booth is 0.75. So we add that together, the new mu is $1.25. Hey, good, good news, right? So um, that's good news only if you discount the fact that you spent $2 to win $1.25. <laughs> So, not good for you, but good for Amos and Bobby, right? Um, okay, so what is the standard deviation of these? Well, um, we actually um, don't know directly the standard deviation uh, formula. We could actually derive it from what we do know. We do know variance, right? So we know the variance. If we add together the variance of, um, of A, if we want the variance of A and B added together, then all we do is add the variance of A to the variance of B. Variance of B. Oh, I keep writing A instead of sigma. It's very similar, sort of turned. All right, so this is our formula for variance, but it's asking for standard deviation, right? So we might just square root both sides. And we know these values already. Oh, oh, we don't know standard deviation. Um, I mean, we don't know variance. We only know standard deviation, but we know how to get variance, right? So you'll have to take the square root of Amos's standard deviation. I'll, I'll show it in blue. So in order to find variance, I have to square that, right? I don't need these parentheses anymore. I have to square that first and add it to Bobby's standard deviation squared in order to get variance. And the reason we have to do this first is that the the square root of this sum is not going to be 0.25 plus 0.32. There's order of operations. You have to do the squares first um, before adding them together. Uh, and if you don't, that's going to change the value, right? So let's see what we get. Well, I'm just going to use one of these rows to help me out here, just so I could calculate some things. So here I'm going to write square root of 0.25 squared plus 0.32 squared. And the nice thing is Excel, sometimes better than us, knows order of operations. Excel knows that it needs to do the, um, the powers, the exponents first, and then add them together. And then all of that, square, square root of all of that, square root of that sum. And we get 0 0.406, 0 
0.406. So that is our new standard deviation. Uh, it is larger than either of them alone. Uh, and, and that makes sense because we're increasing variance because we're adding things together.